Hi there, I'm Lavanna Fay and welcome to Bosmarim episode 17. So last episode, uh, gladly I nearly died. <laughs> but it's alright now, it's alright, it's fine. I've got someone wasting my steel, apparently. Steel, no. Sky steel, no. You can make him out of bone and that's it. Honestly. Is that, is that toss? No, it's a bit, it'll be low ennis. So annoying. So, these bows. Recurve bows. Damage 14. What have we got? A great bow. So that, that does way more damage. But I haven't researched the great bows yet, have I? No, so I can't make any more. And yeah, she's making them out of bone. That's good. So we do want to get rid of these uh, weapons though, because they are taking up a lot of space. What are our constructors actually doing? This up here, steel. Alright. They just don't seem to be doing it very quickly. Okay. Where do we want Aguaranland trees? to remove this roof. Yeah. If we can get, get a start on that being removed, then maybe we can get this all broken down. And gone. I can't believe it, we've actually got a Katobo Pass. Uh oh. Gladia, what's wrong now? About to break, I am not surprised. Mounting what? Who? A Katobal Pass. No, you're not. You are not. It doesn't look like anybody's been taking Methrodel up on her loving either. On a flirting frenzy. Which is a bit of a shame. It's a lot of a shame, really. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Now, will this area... Oh, oh really? Glavia, again. I don't know why I'm surprised. I shouldn't be. Where's Mithridil? Methbridil, go save Anoriath from Gladia's raging. <laughs> Oop, that was close. Hey, there we go. See, methrodel has got your back. Resting. Resting? No, you're not. You're gonna move this. So, yeah, in fact... Yeah, we'll just select all of the capybaras. It's a bit tamed. We only need the females and one male. But... That at least means that we have others to slaughter while we're waiting for more females to be born. 
are to wander onto the map, whichever comes first. So, Tarzana doesn't actually have any capabilities, but I can still assign her a spot. I might as well. Rare has natural, but she's a slave. And Luenis has natural and morbid. But I think, yeah, you can have, you can have a spot. And we'll just have this leftover spot for, if I get another character. Or, actually, I'm not, I'm not even sure if your uh, slaves can do meditation. Why would you want them to do meditation? They're slaves, but it might make a more interesting uh, gladiatorial fight, so... I don't know, I'll think about it. I will think about it. This is coming along nicely. And then hopefully we can get all this done as well. You know, if I was gonna do this <laughs> this series again, I think I'd do it with more more constructors. Because it's just taking so long for him to build things. I feel like I need to go around and force them to do every little thing. Because they won't do it on their own. That could also be the food situation working against me. It'd be nice if my slave had some construction. Successfully tamed a Katobal Pass. Yeah. Oh. That's that's both of them, isn't it? I, I think it is. Yeah, it is. That's both of the Katobal Passes. Awesome. We'll be turning our enemies to stone soon enough. Oh, very nice. I didn't think I'd get them. Yay, you got a capybara. Hey, the one of the females. Awesome. Yes, and you got a capybara as well. One of the males. Decent. Right. What do we have left? Just this one. Just that female. And the others I don't care about. These are males. Yeah, we can have the age three one. I don't care about those. So, you know what, we can hunt those as well. Nice. Do I really want you tending someone? Ugh. I mean, eh. It'll do, I guess. So yes, the starving. See, I keep hoping that they'll actually get trained. Perhaps foolishly. Oh well. Justice going again. For a rat this time. Oh my gosh, the rat is kicking your butt. Justice. I don't understand this. No, seriously, the rat is kicking your butt. Oh my god. Is that because of his nose? And jaw? And eye being torn out? Oh my god. No. Adwin. You're gonna have to come down here, I don't think he's gonna make it. No, he's not. That's not good. Mm. Ugh.
cannot believe you. Ugh. A raid. Oh my god, not right now. Is that the only the only place to come in on? Yeah, I think so. Ugh, and these guys are slavers, are they? Okay. Well. Uh oh, things are not looking good for justice. Uh I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to bring everyone down or I'm gonna risk losing him. Will they will they go for justice? Would they leave him alone? I, I don't think I can leave him. I don't want to risk it. I don't. Alright, mission keep justice and Edwin alive is a go. No pressure. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, yeah, another totem. And uh, Elrond here, you're gonna have to go as well. Um, put everybody, all of the animals into area one. I'm gonna have to take them off of masters as well. They're gonna have to not follow the masters, otherwise they'll they'll just run straight out from uh, safety. All right. Everyone's gonna have to get into position. Ugh, right, she doesn't have a weapon, does she? So close. I don't think he's gonna. He's gonna have to come down. He's gonna have to come down, or I'll run straight into him. And you, you're just gonna have to grab him and run. We don't have time to mess around. Just, yeah, grab him. Go. Go, go, go. Elrin, dear. No, too high. Oof. Oh! He came in through. Oh, I forgot that. Oh. Oh well. Okay, it's a free for all. Damn it! This is the problem with having bone, bone walls and doors. It looks great, but the hit points are so low. All right, uh, get into better positions. I think people spread out a bit. Let's have my melee at the front. And yeah, Methril, you need to be out here. My archers behind. It's the dogs first. Hopefully, they won't put up too much of a fight. Oh, they're going straight for my animals. Oh, oh gladly, he's gone straight down. Oh, it's, it's malnourished. Great. Great, great, great. Um, running off where? Who's running off? Oh, Elrond here. Run. Keep running. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, this is bad. Um, hit him. Oh, these dogs. Lewinis. Grab. I know it. The panther. Back up the panther. Wait. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> He's running off with Gladio. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. Adwin is. Yeah, she's here. That's fine. We're good. <laughs> we'll get a totem down at some point. Oh, this is horrendous. This is horrendous. Mithridil, go kill that guy. Oh. oh, he's still going, he's still going. He might make it. And... Hey, good. She got him. God, is fine, he's on the ground again. Not currently being run off with. Good, so this, this totem will help. Oof. Come on, get hand cover. Oh, this is bad. 
Oh, they're running. <sighs> oh my god, that was bad. Oh, that was rubbish. I can't believe how poorly I did descent. But everybody's alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was terrible. And they're, they're just going to run straight up the, off the map. <sighs> Alright, it's time to clean up, I think. Uh, I think we have a few downed enemies. Butchering. Yeah, well, we do suddenly have a lot of food. <laughs> So we're not hurting for food anymore. That's good. That is very good. At least something good came out of this. Oh, that was so close, though. Oh, that was so stupid. I can't believe... Why didn't I take him behind the barricade? <laughs> well, Justice survived. Ardwin survived. So, mission accomplished. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, that could have been so bad. But Gladia's good. It's fine. Everybody's fine. They're just hungry, I think. Oh, yes! Finally! Lockjaw disease is gone. Got that. We got that at basically the, the very start of this series. He got that lockjaw disease. I can't believe it's lasted this long. But thank God. Thank God it's gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's only. Yeah, only asthma. Well, you can have this bed, I think. Because it's on its own. And I want to use the others. Or if we get any prisoners. Yeah. Oh. We got to make it a double wall. See, I think I'm going really well, and I've completely forgotten to do one simple thing. It's make my walls all doubles. I'm going to have to replant all these trees again. I'm so, so sick of replanting trees. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time I have to move these things. But, oh, it's going to look great when it's done. <laughs> That's what's, what's drawing me forward. It's going to look great when it's done. But we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to put our construction up. It's a priority, guys. We need it done. We don't want to be surprised from behind again. Hey, the pen is done. Awesome. Oh, uh, yep, straight away. Nice. Well, the more the merrier. We certainly want more capybaras anyway. So yeah, just have a bit more of this bone to get rid of. Replace it with steel. What are you... Oh, do we have... Do we not have... Oh, you've already done it all. Okay. I was going to say, I thought we had some... <gasps> Omicron Colossus! Oh my god, finally! Okay. Okay, that is really good. We definitely, definitely need to tame that now. Definitely. Uh, it's been so long since we started this, and now, finally, after so long, 
A venerated animal. It is our venerated animal, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's one of our two venerated animals. <sighs> Finally. Finally, things are going right. Was gonna kill it. <laughs> okay. Take it. Rescue it. Rescue the poor deer. This poor thing needs to be tended and hopefully tamed basically immediately, otherwise, my animals will eat it <laughs> while it's in our area. I mean, it wouldn't have been terrible if we had ended up killing it. It was maddened. And we have a pen now, so they are breeding themselves, but why why wait for them to breed when I can tame them? Meadow Ave. Oh, that makes me feel really bad. It's such a lovely colour, but we do, I'm pretty sure we do have a male already, so we don't, we don't need this last one. Oh, that makes me feel terrible, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the chimera eat it. Ah, good. And it was, it was hurt, but it wasn't badly hurt, so... My chimera is a better hunter than my wags. <laughs> but then again, my wags have been through quite a lot of battles, and they have quite a lot of injuries, so... They're not exactly tippity-top shape. So many poor injured animals. They bring it on themselves though. When I get a freezer, eventually, hopefully, this is it's gonna really reduce the amount of injuries my animals get. Because I'm gonna have enough food for them, they're not gonna have to go out and find their own. So yeah, and we'll even have when the capybaras start producing more capybaras, I'll have a food source right here. So they won't have to go far afield or attack things that are going to attack back. So, eventually, we will have a self sustaining sort of food source. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>